Welcome to Nucanic. Today here on Nucanic we have a 2015 GL 450. This has a V6 bike uh, twin turbo uh, motor in it. And we're going to go through some series scanning, checking uh, engine codes and sensors. So we have our OBD2 scanner hooked up here. This is the UCAN2 OBD2 scanner. And we've gone through the functions of, of picking the vehicle. We have a Mercedes and the smart VIN, and that's going to communicate with the vehicle and know that it is a match our VIN number to the vehicle. And now we're going to pick control modules because we're just doing engine. So we're going to hit one for the drive, and then it's motor electronics, and then we would read the codes. And so right now on the reading the codes we have is basically that our uh, intake sensor on bank two is a which is a P1193 Zero, zero. And then both of these have to do with the same thing. On the bank two has a short circuit to ground and the short circuit to positive. So both of them are, because it's not connected, but I'm going to show you where that sensor is. And this sensor could easily be one that you forget to hook back up because if you change out your air filter, which is right here, maybe you forgot to hook this connector back up. And so once, if you do your uh, engine check code or your check engine lights on, this might be one that you forgot to hook it up when you were putting it back together. Just going to remove that cover for the time being. And you're going to see these are the intakes. And we have that code in bank two. So you have bank one on this side, and that's cylinders one, two, and three. And then bank two is four, five, and six. So we have bank two over here and bank one. We have the same sensor over here on bank one. And then the sensor that we're having here is bank two. So this is the uh, connector here, you press, there's a pull tab generally, press, click, unhook. Now if it was hooked up and say the sensor was bad, this one's fairly easy to replace, just turn it up to this clock position and then you'll be able to pull out the sensor to replace it, take your new one, and then you'll know, just spin it back into place. And when you have this electric connector connected in, it won't pass that so you, it, can't, it can't come out unless the connector's undone. So, now to make your electric connection, and now we can go through with the scanner and you can erase the code or clear the code and it's going to go through and it says codes are cleared and it's also it does a quick scan to make sure that that was fixed and it's saying that there are no system fault codes found. So we, we were uh, notified that our sensor back there was either not hooked up or was broken and now we fixed it, we cleared the code and it read it and now we know that it is functioning at the moment. Of course, this isn't with the engine running, but it is functioning via it's gone through its, its checklist. Thanks for watching. Mechanic, or you can do the mechanic.